Welcome back to the workshop everybody. Your good buddy Walter here. Today I wanted to show you the wood of the day is sycamore. American sycamore specifically. And uh, some people call it London plane tree. <coughs> what I did was I used my standard jack to dress the surface straight and flat and then I had a second jack now not everybody has a second plane so you can just move on to a smoother but um, I set this one tighter sharp tight and this gives me a really thin beautiful shaving to give me that polished surface. Okay, now, American Sycamore comes into its own when you quarter saw it. Now, quarter sawing means, very simply, <coughs> that the grain of the tree, and you can see it here, is going 90 degrees perpendicular to the face. That is true quarter saw. The more it goes off of quarter saw, off of 90 degrees, it becomes rift sawn or vertical grain. So this is quarter saw. I had this specially sawn many years ago. This is, I think, the last piece like this I have. And if the tree is growing up here in the north fairly well, about every three feet or so, 30 inches, branches will begin to form. So this tree was growing this way. Okay, so a branch formed, started growing out, growing out, growing out, and you can see the grain follows it. And then at some point it died off. And from that point it healed over and the tree bulbed out. So there's a bulge here and that bulge goes all the way out to the bark. And you can read it on some trees pretty easy, on some you can't read it at all. But sycamore is typical for a spike knot about every 30 inches, 2 feet, 3 feet, something like that. But as you can see I planed right through that with no tear out except on the, the crack that's in the center of the knot. So, when you're planing any wood, if you can determine the direction that those knots grew, you want to plane with that direction, just like that. And that'll eliminate a lot of your planing problems. So, when edging, you want to go the other way. You want to go this way because the knot grew out that way. So for edging, I just go like that, right through that knot and there's no tear out. Same thing if you were using a smoothing plane. All right. Same thing if you were using a 150 year old coffin smoother. <laughs> I always find using the coffin smoother just so much fun when I'm demonstrating because people look at these when they go out to a restaurant, they're hanging on a wall, they're in a museum. Oh, that's the old way of working wood. Look, uh, it's still working. <laughs> it didn't stop working. It doesn't become redundant. Hand tools don't become redundant. As long as they can continue to perform their task, this plane is older than some of the companies that are selling electric power tools today. So, American Sycamore, sometimes called buttonwood or buttonball, quarter sawn, 
Sometimes people will call this lace wood, although lace wood is a tropical wood, but that is beautiful, absolutely beautiful wood. And it's a little bit blasé on the flat grain, flat sawn. Reminds me a lot of American Beach. It's an interlocked wood. Every few years there's twists and there's inter interwoven grain. Let's put a splash, just a splash of alcohol on this. No, it's not time for a drink. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. That is just gorgeous wood and I use a lot for accent pieces. Maybe a drawer front, maybe a, a jewelry box lid. Oh yeah, by the way, this is another trick. If you're having a really hard time planing some woods, take a little alcohol. Some people say shellac or mineral spirits or stuff like that. You put it on there and it softens the wood a little bit. In fact, right now, this is pretty wet. Let's see how it goes. Turn it this way. Cuts a little bit easier. Leaves a smooth finish. So sometimes if you have a really tough wood, you can put a little shellac on it, let it dry a little, and then plane away. But that's about it for tonight. If you've got any questions for me, leave them in the comment section. But I am running out of woods to plane. <laughs> uh, I've got a few surprises. Pieces of wood I've stored away for a special project. Um, but if, um, if you know of any special woods that you use a lot, that you would like to see me plane, or that you have difficulty planing, you can always send me a small piece or tell me and I'll look and see if I have any available locally. I know Aspen is a crazy one, uh, also has a lot of interlock grain. Um, but that's it. Just a quick one tonight. Go out in your shop, make some shavings. Walter out.